welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode going along with other World War I recipients, is episode number 287. Before we get on to the episode, today's current event topic is going to be the Medal of Honor mail call. This is the fourth year for this to be happening and is being spearheaded by Janine Stange, who is known for going throughout the country and singing the national anthem in all 50 states. She's also a motivational speaker, and uh, she is spearheading this. But this year, she has partnered with the National Medal of Honor Museum Foundation just to kind of help further the reach of the program, and I'd like to help further the reach of this as well. Last year, she collected 12,000 uh, letters from people just like you and me to deliver to the living Medal of Honor recipients. There are 71 living Medal of Honor recipients, and she wants to do it again this year. Actually, what she would like to do is break last year's record of 12,000 letters. So the deadline is in 10 days. It is March 18th. I will have a link in the show notes as well on Facebook and uh, Instagram to information on her website, which is janinestange.com slash moh. Uh, more information there. She has the addresses and everything uh, needed to get this done and done right. Please, please take a moment and write a letter of gratitude to these living recipients of the Medal of Honor and uh, help her reach her goal. But all that information will be in the show notes. And now, a tale of honor. Daniel was born in Mooreville, Texas on the 9th of April, 1897. After high school, he went to Columbia University School of Journalism, which he graduated from, and on the day the U.S. entered into World War I, Daniel enlisted in the U.S. Army. He was a private first class with the 1st Infantry Division in France, where his actions would earn him the Silver Star, Distinguished Service Cross, and the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Reporting for duty from hospital where he had been for several weeks under treatment for numerous and serious wounds, and although suffering intense pain from a shattered arm, he crawled alone into an enemy trench for the purpose of capturing or killing enemy soldiers known to be concealed therein. He killed four of the men and took the remaining four prisoners. While conducting them to the rear, one of the enemy was killed by a high-explosive enemy shell, which also completely shattered one of PFC Edwards' legs, causing him to be immediately evacuated to the hospital. The bravery of PFC Edwards, now a tradition in his battalion because of his previous gallant acts, again caused the morale of his comrades to be raised to high pitch. His previous actions included dressing his own bayonet and gunshot wounds while defending a position alone with his machine gun and refusing to evacuate until his company was relieved. Daniel's actions would make him one of two most decorated U.S. infantrymen during the war. After the war, he moved to the Bronx in New York and was married. He continued to serve in the Army and had received a commission, going on to serve in World War II and retiring as a major. Daniel was also a member of the Comeback Club, which helped disabled and returning veterans. Daniel Richmond Edwards died on the 21st of October, 1967, at the age of 79, and is buried in the Cunningham Cemetery in Royal, Arkansas. His wife, Mary, would join him 31 years later. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.